Hello everybody and welcome back to another review, overview, whatever you want to call it on the hardcover comic. Now today I have dubbed personally Motu Day. Uh, the reason being, I'm pretty sure there's actually already a Motu Day, but this is my personal Motu Day. Uh, big masters of the fan universe ever since I was a kid, jumping off the fireplace, screaming I have the power. Uh, these, these halls, one hall, two hall, both happened to arrive today, just coincidentally. Um, so it's just Motu awesomeness and I thought I would just kind of go over and show everybody what it is. So first up, we have the special edition, the limited edition. I think these were limited, I want to say to a thousand. Um, but they're the, the Dark Horse, He-Man and She-Ra, the complete guide to the classic animated adventures by James E. Talk. Dark Horse Comics. Now, this is a library size. If you guys are familiar with the Dark Horse libraries, uh, size books, that's what this is. This is a library size book. Now, what makes this book special edition over the regular edition is this, first of all, is this, like, foil hollow cover. Um, so you have He-Man and She-Ra there on the front. And then on the back, you have uh, Skeletor and Hordak. Which is just badass, right? So you have the foil hollow cover right there, right out the gate. Um, the regular edition does not have this at all. It has no dust cover, actually. You remove said dust cover, then you can jump into this beauty, this faux leather, really, really nicely done um, book here. And it has, you know, the sword of power and the sword of protection on there. And, uh,. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And this is the faux leather one. Here's the spine for it. Don't mind the messy desk. There's nothing on the back, just the faux leather. But it has the gold stamping and everything there. Then it also has gold edges on all of the pages. Going all the way around, too. Now, once again, the regular edition does not have that. And then last but not least, another thing that kind of sets us apart from the regular edition is, I'm not sure if the regular edition has this when you first open it, but the other thing that sets it apart is, if I can get to it real quick, where's it at? This, everybody knows I'm a big fan of ribbons, right there. I don't mind my bulldog, he's there too. But yeah, right there, ribbon cover or a ribbon bookmark to height to keep your place so absolutely love that it's got the headbands and tail bands as well a little dirty i got this book used um from someone actually off of reddit uh i think 38 dollars or something like that it was an insanely good price i could not pass it up but basically this book has everything um that goes along with with the the cartoon episodes it has everything you could want so it even has here like how to use the guide based on the uk air date the us air date the cast there's trivia questions episode titles deleted scenes same as unsheathing the sword of power you know it has all the different episodes here that it lists and then you can kind of go through and what's oh, a is that stuck or is that just a really thick page I think that's just a really thick page. Um, so yeah, really thick pages in this book. Or at least that one page. I swear that's two pages stuck together. I'll have to look into that later. Anyway. Um, so then it opens up and right here it has the first episode of the Cosmic Comet. And it has some bonuses, the cast, memorable quotes. What the moral of the story is. If you guys remember Man in Arms at, each, at the end of each episode. And today's story, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Has that... Um, some deleted scenes that were taken out, trivia for the episode, and then it just goes on to the next episode, and so on and so forth, and then it has a lot of really cool art scenes and things like that. I would love to get some animation cells from the show, um, that would be awesome, I would absolutely love to someday get some really cool animation cells, but in the meantime, this will do. So, I'm going to flip through this kind of fast, because unless you're a huge Motu geek, this isn't probably doing much for you. But lots of really awesome information um, in this book. Lots of really cool 
things. Now, Dark Horse has put out a lot of different Motu books. There's like the Art of He-Man, which eventually I'll end up getting. Um, so there's like the Art of He-Man. This one, there's the Complete Character Guide to He-Man, which has all the characters from the cartoon universe to the, all the characters that they created strictly for um, toy purposes. You know, it has, it has everybody. So there's that that's out. They have the mini comics, the newspaper strips. Uh, they got it all. And for the most part, they're all really well-priced, too. So if you're looking into getting any He-Man or you're like, oh, I didn't realize they had all that, you can still pick them all up really, really uh, inexpensively. I think they average $20 to $30 a book. And they're nicely done. They're all hardcovers. They're they're really nicely done. Um, Dark Horse has been putting them out. And, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty dope. But this just... The special edition just blew me away, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta get this. So yeah, lots of extras here about the episodes and whatnot. So it's a really good uh, kind of compendium guide to the episodes. Um, so it's kind of going to be fun for me to go back, watch the episode, then come through and read everything about the episode. I'm actually looking really forward to doing that because, well, I'm a nerd. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's the first one, right? Okay. Now this next one, uh, let's just bring it over here so you have something to look at while I talk. Um, this is actually a custom bind. This is not, um, the official release. So, uh, as most of you guys probably already know, and if you don't, you're about to find out, that in February of next year, DC has solicited the Masters of the Universe um, omnibus from all the DC stories. Now, it's going to retail, it's going to be one of their $150 books. Uh, obviously, it'll be less than that on other sites, but it's, it retails at $150. So, that being said, you know it's going to be massive. I'm talking like huge it's gonna be doom patrol invisible you know fourth world omni sized omnibuses it's probably gonna be almost too big to even read comfortably uh but it is gonna have almost everything um from that dc's done including the he-man thundercats crossover which that's pretty cool but um anyways these are actually custom binds um that were created by uh, tim benson uh, of Omaha Bound Entertainment, and he, I don't know if they were his personal books of his or what, but he had posted them for sale and said, hey, these are up for sale, does anybody want them? I saw them and he immediately jumped on them and grabbed them. One, they're gorgeous. Two, it's two volumes rather than one ginormous volume, and I don't have to wait till February like everybody else. So, and it's an absolutely gorgeously done book. Uh, so here's volume one. So He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Volume 1. Now, one cool thing that Tim did in this book that is not going to be in the official releases, at least as to my knowledge, is there were five or six digital chapters when DC first did this book. As you can see, Jeff Johns wrote the first one. I believe there were six. Five or six. But anyway, they were just digital they were never, ever in print. They've never been in print. So what Tim did was actually went in, blew them up to size, and then printed them out. And the paper quality is better than regular comic books that you buy at the store every Wednesday. Like, the paper quality is nice. It's thick. It's luscious. It's it's just really awesome paper um, compared to, you know, the, that thin paper that you find in comic books and stuff. This just feels like really nice paper. So anyway... He did that. He went through and blew all of these up. Um, oh, as you can see. Oh, by the way, it's going to be a new Colin Bun book. Uh, um, but as you can see, I kind of was reading this morning. Um, when I when Tim... Actually, I'm local to Tim, so he stopped by and dropped these off to my work. and um, It was awesome. So, uh, but yeah. So these are all the digital ones, okay, that Tim blew up. Uh, Kyle Higgins also did a lot of the writing. Oh, there he is right there. Kyle Higgins also did a lot of the writing on these um, for the, the digital six part. Um, Kyle Higgins is known, really well known right now, for doing uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with Boom. Um, he likes... I've noticed he kind of likes like the childhood stuff. He-Man, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, etc. So I, I'm a fan because he keeps it real and he keeps the tones right and it's awesome. 
but anyway, so once you get past these digitals, then we jump into the actual issues. Now these ones are, this as you can tell, there's tons of ads because well, DC loves their ads and they make it damn, they don't make double ads, so you can't, like it's ridiculous. Um, so these were all bound out of single issues, um, not trade paperbacks or anything like that. So there's tons and tons of ads in here because that's all DC likes to do, like three fourths of the book. Um, not this book per se, but like DC books in general, I would say probably about 25% of DC comics when you buy them off the shelf is just freaking ads. It's like every other page. It's ridiculous. Um, so anyway, yeah, these were bound out of single trade issues. Really, really excited about this. This book also, so this by book volumes one and two, um, has the exact same stuff that is going to be in the official omnibus. Uh, with the exception of the digital uh, books that he printed out and put in there that will not be in the official. Um, these do not have the Masters of the Universe versus Thundercats, whereas the official will. Um, this one does not. And uh, this one also has, like, the binds. They have the DC Universe, but um, not Thundercats. So this one also actually has... I want to say there's like six or eight other issues that um, the official release will not have as well. I want to say it's Origin of Skeletor, He-Man, Hordak maybe? Oh, digital issues one through eight. Um, there's something else that's in these that is not in the official, but I don't remember what it was. Anyways, here's the back of it. Um, really awesome design. And my favorite part of this entire book, uh, you know, aside from the material itself, is this little Mattel logo. I don't know why, but it is just such a neat little detail that was added onto this book that just makes me totally geek out, and I love it. And then here's the spine, volume one, Omaha Bound Entertainment. And then uh, here is volume two. So here's the design for volume two. Gorgeously done, matches the first, which is really nice. Here's the back. You got she on the back there. And then this includes the Eternity War, etc. And then, once again, that Mattel logo. And then here's the spine for volume two. Once again, Omaha Bound Entertainment. Uh, now these books are defab. They're they're glued defab. Uh, they're not sewn or anything like that. As you can tell, they had a flat spine. They're not rounded. Um, let's see what else about these. First of all, if you're a He-Man fan, I strongly recommend this material. I haven't read it all, but from what I have read, it's a lot of fun. It's nothing mind-bending or anything that's going to make you, like, rethink life. But it's still a really fun read. Um, so I do recommend picking it up if, you know, when, when the official Omni drops. Uh, I would recommend grabbing it. I think it's just be careful reading it because it is going to be rather unwieldy. It's going to be freaking massive is what it's going to be. Uh, but yeah, so thank you, Tim, for binding this and then putting it up for sale so I could grab it. That's awesome of you. And yeah, folks, so there you go. Motu Day in my house. This is a, an amazing, amazing time for me. I'm very excited and geeked out to read these. So... There you have it, folks. Uh, these ones do not have ribbons or headbands and tailbands on them. They are just kind of a clean cut, and that's about it. But I still love the design of the books nonetheless. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If it is before September 25th, 2018, please be sure you go on and you check out the Jeff Lowe Batman Omnibus Review because we're also doing a giveaway there. Leave the comment, like, subscribe, etc. And you can have a chance to win. And until next time, the power is yours. Or should I say, I have the power!